just water, coconut water. Oh, really? Oh, coconut yeah, water is really good. Coconut water is really good. Yeah. yeah, it's got a lot of minerals in there. Correct. Okay, hi Eleanor, how you doing? Tu como esta? Como esta? Good. You okay? Good. Okay. Uh -huh. So we haven't seen her in a while, right? With all the coronavirus going around. Correct. She didn't want to come out, but now she's in a lot of pain with her neuroma. Correct. Right here. Uh -huh. And her nails getting really bad, so she's right. back here. She's diabetic, so right. pretty well controlled, right? You're saying? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. So, how old is uh, Leonor this year? 89. 89, wow! You'll be 90 next year? This year. Oh, this year? Here in September. September, big 9-0, uh -huh. huh? Yeah, big 9-0, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Hopefully you'll be able to celebrate, of right? Course. With Hopefully. all this stuff going on. Yep, looking forward. No no parties lately. <laughs> no. <right>? No. <laughs> no. That's terrible. Yes. So, how's she managing her diabetes? Uh, she's doing good. She's avoid mostly avoiding, um, you know, sugar, oh, really? okay. sugary foods. Uh -huh. uh, you know, and uh, she takes, uh, you know, once a week. Uh, uh, Trulicity help, it's helped out. Very oh. good. Oh really? Yes. Okay. And uh, yeah, basically that and and avoiding certain foods. Uh huh. Correctly. Yeah. Like what? That's uh, like uh, you know. Red meat, soda, juices. Yeah. All the good stuff, huh? Yeah, she doesn't drink that, you know. Basically, mm -hmm. just water, coconut water. Oh, really? Oh, coconut yeah, water is really coconut good. Coconut water is really good. Yeah. yeah, it's got a lot of minerals in there. Correct. That's good stuff. Yeah. And it's pretty tasty, too, actually. Huh? Correct, correct. Uh -huh. She takes her coffee, you know, but mostly limited to once a day. Once a day, okay. Yeah. Okay. And then she doesn't put stuff in there, though, huh? Yeah. Did she I mean, put like sugar in there or? At, at a minimum. At a minimum? At okay. A minimum. okay. She but, looks great for yeah. almost 90, huh? Yeah. Wow. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, she, um, you know, in the evenings, just her tea. Uh -huh. Basically, tea is what she. Uh huh. What kind of tea? In the evening. Yeah. Uh, chamomile. Oh, chamomile bananas, tea. Uh -huh. um, you know, uh, peach. Tea. Really? Yeah. Wow. You know, she different flavor. I, I tend to buy different flavors. Oh, to mix so it up for her? It won't get boring. <laughs> wow. That sounds, that sounds really good. Yeah. So she loves the tea, yep. coffee in the morning. Yeah. What, what does she eat for breakfast? For breakfast, she normally likes to eat uh, a tamale. <laughs> tamale? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Or, 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 a couple of uh, soft boiled eggs. Okay, eggs are really good. Piece of toast. Uh huh. And you know some cottage cheese. Mm hmm. That's basically it. Okay. Yeah. And What's her favorite food? Her favorite food. Uh, she. ¿Cuál es su comida favorita? La que usted le gusta. Mm, el pescado. Oh yeah, fish. Oh fish, okay. She likes fish. What kind of fish you like? She she likes um she likes this uh you know this dry you know this dried fish that you put in uh you know like uh, I mean I don't know how you say it in English but mm -hmm. it's uh you, know, you take the, the, the not the yolk but the but the egg whites and huh. you make it all like a and you just uh, put the fish in there and then just fry it in hot hot oil oh okay. Yeah. How you say it is get pretty crispy yeah and then you you know you make a sauce of uh, tomato and spices and that's how she likes to eat it normally from where we're from they tend to eat that during the you know the ho holy you know semana santa holy week oh okay yeah right before easter oh is that right oh, yes okay. yes yes wow you know between ash wednesday up to up to up until easter oh really yeah why yeah uh, just yeah. celebrating because uh, supposedly during that time, according to the Christian tradition, you know, you're not supposed to eat red meat. You're supposed to eat fish. You know, and according to what Jesus, mm -hmm. you know, teaching the apostle, 
you know, don't believe me all because I don't go to church. <laughs> he, he knows more than me. Uh, okay, okay. That, okay. That's what kind of what I understand. Oh, I see. <laughs> the more fish, huh? Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. The, you know, between Ash Wednesday up until Easter, that's kind of like what you got to eat. You don't have to be eating red meat or mm -hmm. anything like that. You have to eat like fish or white meat. Oh, I see. What I understand. Okay. Yes. So she eats more fish mm -hmm. and then... Does she eat some fruits and stuff? Or? Oh, yeah, she likes eating wa mostly watermelon. Mm -hmm. But we got to watch it because watermelon has sugar. A lot of sugar, that yeah. one. Yeah, mm -hmm. tastes really good, though. But have to, you know, balance it out a bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, man mangoes, pears, oh. is what she likes. Mangoes, a lot of sugar, too, that yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. And she likes all the tasty ones, huh? Yeah, she likes all the tasty ones, but... It's not like she eats it every day uh -huh, because uh -huh. we got it. And, and the thing is that she she likes eating mangoes because it helps her with her, um, you know, because she doesn't go to the restroom every day. Mm -hmm. And uh, it helps with the constipation. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like a fiber, huh? Exactly. So, yeah. Is she okay? Is she in pain or? Is that right? Is that right? Is that right? Okay. Yeah, a little bit. Oh. Yeah. Ask her, ask her for her secret of her good aging. Oh, oh. oh always keep it, always keeping busy. Keep busy, huh? Keeping busy. She's pretty active. What is she, what is she like doing? Uh, sewing. Oh, sewing. sewing. Okay. And selling things. Oh, she likes to sell stuff. Yeah, she likes, she likes to, to make some money. Exactly. Okay, what is she selling? Not anymore. She had a mild stroke last year, so she had a little oh, crazy, oh, but when, when, it, when she was selling her things, she would sell, like, you know, clothes, things that she would make on her sewing machine. Uh -huh. Mostly dresses, skirts. You know, oh, really? Women's clothes. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. That's what she basically likes doing. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, wow. That's great. Tablecloths. Um, for, for Christmas, uh -huh. Thanksgiving. Oh, I see. Yeah. But she hasn't been doing too much of that lately. No, not, not this, since May last year. She hasn't been able to do anything. Yeah. She's always but looking forward to doing it. Yeah, but she still looks great. Yeah. yeah it's, she's getting better. Yeah? Little by little. Little she's by little? Have patience. Is she like in therapy still or no? Yeah, yeah, I mean, she is. You know, she's uh -huh. trying to get back to her regular self. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. That's, that sounds great. She's done. She's got to stay active. That's the that's the key, huh? Correct. Obviously, diet that's is right. very important that's, too. That's, that's the key, basically. Yeah. Keep moving. Have something you're looking forward to. Yeah, exactly. Keep on doing it. Something that you like. Something that you love. Exactly. Correct. The purpose. Exactly. Purpose of living every day a lot of uh, older people tend to kind of lose it so yeah exactly. so i'm glad to hear that yeah just have to avoid getting depressed or uh -huh. things like that yeah okay so thing. i haven't seen her a few months so i don't want to do too much but we did enough to keep her comfortable right okay. here Okay. And then she also complained of a neuroma that she had yes. right in this space right here. So I'm going to give a little injection right here as well. Okay. So first I'm going to numb it a little bit. She, she's already had this before, so yes. she understands. Just yes. please tell her that she's going to feel some cold here. So I'm going to make it a little bit cold in the area like that. And then, and then numb the area first. Mm -hmm. And then we talked about the uh, cortisone injection. Obviously, mm -hmm. cortisone can raise the blood sugar. That's right. why it's always uh, kind of be cautious about giving cortisone injections. Correct. So check her blood sugar next three days to make sure it's not elevated too much. Correct. And if it is, you have to talk to your doctor, right? Definitely. Yeah, so okay. we don't want it to go in too much. Not everybody has the cortisone uh, that has the blood sugar go up for the diabetics, but some yeah, people do. There's always a risk. Yeah, there's always a risk, so you have to make sure that she doesn't have that.
So I'm giving an injection between the third and the fourth toe, right in the inner space where the neuroma is. She feels that? Does she feel that? Yeah. Uh, Ma? Uh -huh. so, yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. She's okay. She's okay? Yeah. Yeah, she's so little, I don't want to give a regular dosage. I'll, I'll right. do a little bit less than right. normal dosage. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, she's fine. Okay. So, there you go. What I'm also going to do is to put a little tape around this area, which we're not going to film right now, but Okay. We're going to tape it up so that uh, for the next 24 hours so that this uh, medication that I put in here wouldn't go around too much okay. other places, okay? So that's okay. what we're going to do. So mm -hmm. let's take a final picture of what it looks like now afterward. Okay, thank you for allowing me to film you today. Thank, thank you. you. Mm -hmm.